Hello, this is Mighty Owl. We've been rocking it with rectangles, squares, and triangles. But what makes a square different from a rhombus or a rectangle or even a trapezoid? Let's dive into the world of quadrilaterals! Quadrilaterals are closed shapes that have four straight sides. It's in its name. Quad means four and laterals are lines. And rectangles are only one type of quadrilateral. The fact that a shape has four sides is called an attribute. Attributes are the properties or what defines a shape and makes it unique and distinguishable. Let's look at different ways we can identify specific quadrilaterals by their attributes. Well, let's start by looking at the sides of the quadrilaterals. The opposite sides of some quadrilaterals are parallel. Parallel means that they're always at the same distance, and even if they extend forever, they will never, ever touch. We can generally split quadrilaterals into two groups. Those that have parallel sides, and those that do not. Notice that the shapes are still quadrilaterals, since they all have four sides. We've just separated out more specific types of quadrilaterals. But let's keep going. We want to discover what makes a square so different from all the other quadrilaterals. Another attribute shapes have is opposite sides with the same length. Such shapes are rectangles and squares and also rhombuses and parallelograms. Let's organize our shapes to get all those that have opposite sides equal in length together. Look, the trapezoid is no longer with the other shapes. A trapezoid may have parallel sides, but it does not have opposite sides that are equal just like the parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, or square. Uh, look at the square and the rectangle. See how the sides come together at a nice corner that looks like an L shape? This is called a right angle. The types of angles that shapes have is another attribute. The rhombus and the parallelogram do not have their angles as an L shape. Well, here's an easy way to remember it. The rhombus is the tired and sleepy cousin of the square. And the parallelogram is the tired and sleepy cousin of the rectangle. Now that we can separate the quadrilaterals that have right angles, the square and the rectangle are the only ones left. And what is the difference between them? Of course you know, it's in their sides. A square has all its sides equal, whereas a rectangle has its opposite sides equal. Wow, there's a lot that goes into organizing shapes. So we're going to focus on just a few different quadrilaterals, squares, rectangles, rhombus, parallelogram, and trapezoids. Identify the quadrilaterals. Alright, let's start with some practice identifying quadrilaterals. We've just learned that quadrilateral is another fancy word for a shape with four straight sides. Now let's count the sides of these shapes to find out if they are indeed quadrilaterals. Starting with shape one, counting the number of sides, we can see that this shape has five sides. This is not a quadrilateral. All right, next shape, two. Starting at this side, we count and find that it has four sides. Nice. Shape two is a quadrilateral. Moving on to shape three, this looks like a rectangle. Uh-huh, we just learned that a rectangle is a quadrilateral. But let's count the sides to be sure. Yep, four sides. Shape three is also a quadrilateral. Next shape, number four. Yeah, right, this shape has some short sides, so let's count carefully. And this shape has six sides. Hmm, it is not a quadrilateral. Our last shape, Number five, hey, look at that curved side. A quadrilateral has to have four straight lines. Since this shape has a curved side, it's not a quadrilateral. Woo, I think we did it. Great work identifying quadrilaterals. Name the following shapes. All right, problem two, we need to name the following shapes. Well, let's start by counting the sides. One, two, three, four. Uh-huh, they all have four sides. Wait, this means they're all quadrilaterals. Next, let's look at if any of the shapes have opposite sides that are equal or parallel. Well, shape one and three do. 
Now look at where the sides meet for these two shapes. Never. So shape one makes those nice corners called right angles, and its opposite sides are equal. So is it a square or a rectangle? Well, its four sides aren't equal, and so that makes it a rectangle. Shape three does not have right angles, but its four sides are equal, so it's a rhombus. And since there are no other attributes to shape two, we just label it as a quadrilateral. Great job identifying those shapes. Woo, who would have thought that there was so much that goes into shapes? Let's take a quick sec to summarize what we learned. You learned about quadrilaterals and that they're all shapes with four straight sides. And you also learned about attributes or ways to organize shapes. You were able to classify and identify shapes like squares, rectangles, parallelogram, rhombus, and trapezoid. Fantastic work, and I will see you in the next video.